Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Hard Mode. We are back once more and of course we're still playing with the new mod released by Sunbunny. So we're going to jump in and again I'm going to play with Paradox but this time we're just going to do a regular old run. We're not going to do a rainbow mode run. Um, we've been doing a little bit of rainbow mode recently just to see new items. But this time we'll go back to normal and see what we can get done. Maybe we'll see some of the items. We'll most likely see a few of the new enemies. But yeah, I'm excited. Uh, also, I'm kind of toying with the idea of maybe messing around with the new Ouroboros mode that I mentioned in the previous episode. Essentially, the new mod by Sunbunny adds a mode that is essentially a looping mode, um, which apparently is, is more akin to the Risk of Rain looping than it is Nuclear Throne, like I previously mentioned. But either way, uh, it could be quite fun and uh, quite messy, which would be hilarious. Uh, but what I'm thinking of doing is maybe just installing basically any mod on the workshop that adds items. Of course, it might be a little laggy, so I'll have to mess around and see... see which ones will work best but kind of thinking of just like adding it adding a ton of uh modded items Ooh, that was a bad hit uh, adding a ton of modded items and then just going in maybe playing on vanilla rather than hard mode and just messing around and seeing how long we could keep a run going for uh it, it's been a long time since i played vanilla i'm actually kind of in a weird state with vanilla where i don't know if i'm gonna end up being an insane amount better at vanilla because I'm my reaction times and my ability to dodge and everything with hard mode has been vastly improved. Or if I'm actually going to be worse because I don't remember the original patterns as well anymore. I mean, I have a lot of muscle memory for the original patterns, so it shouldn't be too bad. But still, there is a chance that I've been playing hard mode for like six months now that I jump back in and I actually do find it a little bit more difficult because... It has been so long since I've fought those vanilla patterns, especially on some of those bosses. So I'm kind of interested to see how that plays out. But that's kind of an idea I have. Of course, many of you that watch me do know that I don't really have a particular streaming schedule. I stream kind of when I feel like it. And honestly, recently, I've not been in the streaming mood. I don't know why. It just sometimes happens. Um, Maybe it's to do with lockdown and being socially isolated. Uh, but either way... um. I think when I, whenever I get back to streaming, whenever I, I take an interest in it again, which should hopefully be soon, uh, I might um, ooh, make sure this guy doesn't bop us. Uh, yeah, I might I might do some stuff with um, the Ouroboros mode. I think that could be really fun. And also, it's just I want to make sure to be showcasing more and more mods. Uh, I don't want any modders to feel discouraged discouraged because I aren't using their pack or whatever. Um, and I do want to test out some stuff that I maybe haven't had a look at in a while. There are plenty of packs out there that I haven't even given a second look at for a good few months because, I don't know, uh, when I first when I first used them, they might have been unbalanced or something and I decided to uninstall them. But they've probably since improved in the last six months or so. So I should really give a lot of them a second chance. Um, so that's that's something that I definitely want to I wanna do. And that'll be kind of be part of that live stream. So we'll see. Ooh, Winchester here is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's uh, qu quickly go and check for our secret room up here as well. I'm, I'm always a bit apprehensive about secret rooms in hard mode. Because you do have to use a blank to get to them. So it's kind of like, do, is this a good idea? Um, I kind of need that blank. Also, I didn't actually take a look at our starting items. We got Lichy Trigger Finger, which is fantastic. Uh, and we also got Helix, which is a pretty good boss killer. So we now have a boss killer and room clearer now, which I'm very happy about. Of course, the Winchester ammo consumption, a little bit, a little bit on the uh, high side for a room clearer, but it'll still do pretty well. And the Helix, everyone knows the Helix is like a low tier uh, boss killer. It's like... It's one of the most convenient boss killers that isn't just absolutely amazing. But for the tier that it comes in, I'm pretty happy with it. This is definitely a blanking moment. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if we'll get the flawless here. We'll try it though. Um, of course, Helix. We're going to have to stick... Uh, oh, got a leg spike there. Oh, there we go. The leg spike kind of screwed me there. I could have just dodged. But, oh well. um, but yeah, uh... The um, the helix is pretty good, but we have to stick at a very particular distance. Oh my god! Did get hit again, unfortunately. Unfortunately, sir. Right, skull splitter. Though. Not bad, not bad. Um, we'll carry on to the next floor. Yeah, skull splitter is pretty good. Uh, we should be able to do a decent amount with it. Um, didn't really feel like opening our brown chest. I should have at least destroyed it though. I could have got a half a heart out of that. Probably should have got on the flawless there, but um, I'll admit. That leg spike, it didn't actually cause the cause the loss of the flawless itself, but it kind of threw me off my game a little bit. Oh, really? 
Uh, it kind of threw me off my game a little bit. I was like, kind of just, it threw me for a loop. It's especially, um, like, the leg spikes were annoying before because there was a lot more of them and they were a lot more distracting. But now, it's kind of gone, it's, it's in a weird place with them, to be honest, because they're now, oh my god, much less common, which means when they happen, they're a lot more impactful. Because uh, because of Gungeon Gear Burr being installed and helping out with that, which is great, I'm so grateful that someone found a way to reduce the lag by a whole hell of a lot. Uh, but it does mean that when leg spikes happen, because I'm no longer expecting them to happen regularly, when they do happen, they normally hurt a little more. Which is kind of stupid, but I, I, th I think you guys know what I mean, right? Okay, we're actually getting some health here. Um, luckily, it seems that a lot of the leg spikes happen either in boss fights or in empty rooms. I don't know why that is. Um, but boss, boss fights obviously is the annoying one, but empty rooms rather than normal rooms. I reckon we could take a lot more damage in combat rooms if they were happening in combat rooms than bosses. Uh, right. Sawn off. Uh, no thanks. We'll probably just take this key because we don't have any keys right now. I would very much like to uh, open a chest. But as you can see, the Winchester here, the ammo is waning. We're, 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 we're drawing quite close to being running out here. Um... It doesn't last us too long. It's basically lasted us like three quarters of the floor, which isn't terrible, I'll admit. But if you don't end up getting drops, then it's not great. That, I should not have been hit by that. I really wanted to leave these guys to get hit by the roller, but <laughs> apparently they just walked right past it without even giving it a second thought. So that didn't really... Oh, hello. I don't know what this guy does, but he blows up. Ah, that's what he does. He fires a laser. That's a cool enemy. That's a cool enemy. I like it. All uh, right. Skull splitter for this guy. Oh, my God. The wisps are so annoying. The hard mode wisps are insane. <laughs> I'll admit they're insane. Ooh, beehive's pretty good, too. I'm pretty happy with that. And a goopton. Oh, goopton with weird egg. Yes, please. Yes, please. As, for those of you that don't know, which I imagine is not many of you by now, but weird egg is kind of one of the most broken items they ever added. Um, like, oh, what the hell's this? It's like a cursed thing. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a really, really um, powerful item that they added. That they, I don't really know if they intended it to be as strong as it is, but it gives a full heal at D tier. So, right, let's carry on. So we do have a, we do have a, a gun game, whatever it's called here. Um, oh, it's the fucking terrible one though. I hate this one. I'll do it anyways because even if we get a D tier chest, I'll be happy. Like. A chest is a chest. But honestly, this one's so difficult. Like, you've got to fire at such long ranges, so predicting movement's really hard. But the bigger thing is that there's these red blocks. You you can't bounce anything. It's it's kind of annoying how difficult this one is compared to some of the rest of them. Okay, we got two at least. I'm happy with that. Oh, no. But there you go. As you can see, it's just a very, very difficult one. But blue chest, we got ourselves the headband. Honestly... Not a great item for our current situation. We don't have an active item that charges up. Um, and we don't have a lot of money. So, at the minute, that's essentially not really doing anything for us. I can't believe I just got hit by that. It's not really doing anything for us. Oh, hello. I did not see you there, sir. But we got a brown chest. And we got flame chamber. Which, if I remember, is also pretty bad. <laughs> Um, reloading on an empty clip creates a pool of fire beneath the bearer used with caution. Yeah. Uh, it's only on an empty clip, though. So we might be able to make it work. We'll see. We'll see. Good. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's so difficult. In in rooms with no cover, they, they will hit you a lot of the time. Oh, fuck. I thought he was dead. Oh, my God. This is some stressful gaming right now. Holy damn. Uh, right. Let's have a little look-see. Don't think we can afford a heart right now. No, it's 36. Hmm. I think I'm just going to destroy this then. Because we're not going to be able to get a key here. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. If only it didn't teleport me back by accident. But that's one of the things I was kind of hoping for. Weird how it gives you protection for a very brief moment, but either way. Um, this time, I think we'll use the Beehive here. Again, Beehive is good, but its ammo consumption is kind of terrible. Um, and we just got to be aware of that. And the poison. Oh, 
That was the worst hit of damage I've ever taken in my life. That was so stupid. But yeah, this, the B is just nice because we just don't have to think. And the good thing is as well, being far away from Meduzi is uh, is the best way to dodge her. And also we don't need to look at her to aim at her. I'm sad we lost the Flawless. We probably should have been able to get a Flawless here, but... Hey, her. Yeah, this this definitely should have been a Flawless. I, I took contact damage that I just should not have taken, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And we get the uh, the bloody box, which I can never remember what this does. Uh, sacrifice blood to the gods of infinity in return for a chest. Is this a heart container for a chest or is this health for a chest? I'm willing... I don't know. I was going to say I'm willing to try it out, but I'm kind of not because we don't have keys. Right. I need to go and check this out because I, I know it's from Never Names Pack. Um, let's go and take a little look-see. Uh, if it gives us, if it takes away heart containers or full hearts, and if it gives us unlocked chests or locked chests. If it gives us locked chests, it's essentially worthless. Which I'm going to imagine it does. Let's have a little look see, shall we? Bloody box, B tier. Spend 5 health, so 2.5 hearts, and spawn a chest. Hearts, not heart containers. Takes two armor with the same effect, plus one curse while held. I have no idea if the chest is locked or not. I really don't. Um, this would this would put us down to half a heart. It's too big of a risk. We can't take it. I'm sorry, but we can't. It's a cool item. I'd love to use it, but unfortunately, hard mode does not allow for such such frivolous spending of HP. We have to be a bit more conservative with what we do with our HP, unfortunately. Going down to half a heart and having to use our weird egg to get a chest that might be locked. I don't... I don't think it would be. I'm not sure. It's very hard to say. Because the thing is, on the one hand, it'd be really annoying if it was locked. But on the other hand, it'd be quite powerful if it wasn't. So, I'd, it's kind of here or there. It could be either. Oop, I stood in a mushroom immediately. Great. Luckily, those dudes aren't too difficult. Oop, I rolled over that mushroom and take our beehive. That was just an explosion. That works for me. Okay, quickly make sure we don't get taken out by this guy. Oh my god. This room's annoying, but at the same time, this room doesn't actually make too big of a difference because we can hone in on everything. So a lot of the difficulty is removed. Okay, we'll carry it on. We'll keep her going. We're still on pretty bad HP. Okay, this is bad. The cube, remember, just fear it and we'll be okay. Just fear the cube and everything will be fine. Ow! I just got crushed by rocks. Not, not what I wanted to see. Is there another bubble boy? No bubble blowing here. No bubble blowing. The hell is this thing? The psychic blank. I think we have to take that, don't we? Unfortunately, it isn't active. Uh, creates a blank effect on the player's cursor. Mm, okay. Um, so I guess we... Ah, oh, this is kind of annoying, because the weird egg is so good. And, I don't know, it's it's a difficult one. I guess we just take the weird egg for the half a heart heal. It seems dumb, but I want to take a new item, and this is from um, some bunny's pack as well. This cool room again, which I just love the visual effect of that sweeping on the bullets. It looks so good. But yeah, Psychic Blank, this could end up being really, really good. Really, really good. It says blank on the cursor. Which I was just about to say, I'm imagining that on um, on controller, because we don't technically have a cursor, it just blanks on our person, which is great. <laughs> it doesn't work as intended, which is better. For uh, for console players, it's actually a slight improvement on the item, because we don't have to focus too much. I say improvement, there's some unique stuff you can do with having your cursor be able to choose where the blank goes, but still. 
This is going to work out for us quite nicely. Yeah. Just let him do his thing. Good, good. Yeah, we just need some less ammo-hungry guns at the minute. Uh, that's definitely not going to help. Uh, have we been to our other chest? We haven't yet. Okay. Ow. So we do have some health about, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Damn it, we've, we've picked the wrong one every time thus far. For fuck's sake. We picked the wrong one so many times there. <laughs> hey, dude. What's up, Lonk? We need, we need to find our shop pretty drastically because we've got two hearts saved up there. And right now we need them. This is the moment where I'd love our weird egg to have not been taken. Okay. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, you see that dodge? This right here is a nightmare fueled room full of death and destruction. Oh my god. This is not the sort of room you want to see. Okay. Oh my god, if only I could hit things. Oh my god. Okay, we're good, we're good. That took a little while, but we're good. We certainly need ammo very desperately. <laughs> ammo is something that the, the, the gods do not want to give us right now. Oh, Helix is the worst for this enemy. Oh my god. Where the fucking shit is our shop? Please. Just give me the damn shop. Here it is. Now I can't kill this guy because I'm not far enough away. Don't spawn more things. I can't handle more things right now. I'm not doing well as it is. Right. Boom, boom. Right, what's this? Heart shield. Well, I mean, we can't afford it, so it doesn't exactly matter what it is, but still. Uh, I would very much like to um, go into those chests there, but that doesn't look possible, does it? Damn it. Okay, so... We at least now have our lonk done. Fucking hell. The green boys, they're too much. Oh my god, we're back to the pistol. This is absurd levels of no ammo. Please, game. There's absolutely no way we live. <laughs> I have to admit, there's just no way we live right now. I, I, I've got to gamble and buy a key rather than saving for hearts and open the chest and hope we get something brilliant that's going to save our, save our life. I mean, that's pretty good, but it's not going to save our life. I, I mean, what we could do is, like, drop this. Th this better work, by the way. I'm pretty sure we can re-roll this into something else because of the resourceful rat ring. If this doesn't work, we've lost the helix, but I'm going to try it. Okay, good. Essentially, I did that for more ammo. The helix is good, but this gives us more ammo. And I think that's important right now. So we're probably going to die here, just because this is a hard boss to do with, uh, with very little HP. But we will try our damnedest. We'll try our best. To do what we can. Sadly, a lot of the bees are going for the enemies we really don't want them to right now. Okay, we don't have any blanks, so let's be careful. Oh, we flawlessed him. No way. With one bee to spare. Okay, that's, that's brought us back from the brink. Alkaline bullets are also quite nice. 
Let's have a little look at those, shall we? Alkaline bullets, are they the ones that instantly destroy blobs? Yes. Okay, cool. That's that's kind of brought us back from the brink, that has. That's that's given us a fresh lease on life. Which I'm very happy to see. I could be I can now be happy with how far this run's gotten. Basically any run that gets me past the third floor, I feel like I've achieved something. Hard mode is 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 kind of like that. Um as long as you can make it past the third floor. And honestly, you can do it with skill alone. Like, you don't have to get lucky with that. Honestly, is there anything here that we've got that we can that we can safely say has guided us to the to the fourth floor? I don't think there is. I think it, I think we've kind of got here on our own merit for the most part. What the hell are these guys? Whatever they are, they are very strong in terms of HP. Be the cube. Be the cube. Okay, cool. I absolutely hit everything about this. So it's two shots to kill these guys, or we can push them in the pit. Or three shots if we miss all our bullets. Almost got damaged by fire there. Good. Trying to push them in for a save on ammo, but it doesn't always work. I just, I can't believe the lack of ammo drops we've got this run. It's kind of absurd. Like we have, we've just had absolutely none. Try and take out you first. Before you do that, sadly he managed it. Luckily we got him the... But yeah, distinct lack of ammo. Very sad. Very, very sad indeed. Oh, come on now, dude. This champion's taking forever. Taking forever. Oh, boy. I don't know why these guys are... Oh, I was just about to say I don't know why they're insta-dying. I've got the thing that does instant damage to blob enemies. That's why. That's kind of one of the things I have going on. Okay. I, I forgot how deadly the cubes were. And then I, I didn't realize we had new cubes. This is the full-on cube room. Oh my god, that looks so fucking good though, doesn't it? It looks so good. How did someone create something that looks that good? Let's recreate, you fucking wizard. You fucking wizard. Okay, out of ammo on that. Over to this bad boy. Please give us just a fucking single ammo drop. Just one would would make my fucking day if we could get a single ammo drop. That would be just fantastic. Just one. One to get us through. Okay. Got this guy doing his thing. Now that enemy's been kind of nerfed and fixed, I think it's a really cool design for the enemy. The fact that it duplicates and then spawns stuff. It's really cool. I like it a lot. This is 45. I would love to get that amount. In fact, I would love it so much that I'm going to sell some shit I don't want. I'm going to try to at least. Honestly, I'm going to sell this as well. It's kind of worthless. And then, yeah. 38 for a key. Do I want to sell anything that I'm holding? Not really. I, I, I'd rather just save up. Getting that extra health there should help though. But yeah, let's just, let's just hope we get a single ammo drop before the boss so we can actually kill it without having to use our pistol. Like, that's one thing about hard mode. In these rooms, you have to use your more powerful weapons. You can't just resort to your pistol because you need to kill things quickly. You just have to. 
Oh, hello. Chance it. Why not? You get nothing. You lose. What is this, Willy Wonka? Oh my god. Okay. We've literally just got the pistol left. This this is the least ammo drops I've ever had in an entire run. This is this is absurd. This is just this is this is just kind of stupid. The, the game shouldn't allow this to happen. <laughs> this just isn't fair. Yeah, ha, thanks. Prolong my fucking suffering, why don't you? Also, this shrine costs so much money. I didn't fucking realize. God damn it, I'm gonna have to sell something now. I didn't realize that that shrine cost money. Right, um... No! You bastard! What? I just sold Litchy Trigger Finger. How? I did not mean to do that at all. That is not what I intended in the slightest, you shit. I don't know how I managed to accidentally do that then. I guess we're just selling everything. I guess we're just selling it all. I guess I should wait for my other chest just in case. Also, what was what was available on Kershula? I only saw Identity Crisis. I didn't see any of the other things. Ah, kind of all of it's pretty bad, to be honest. <laughs> we don't need any of that. It's all stuff that doesn't benefit us now, at least. Ow. I forget how aggressive these little fuckers are. Look at them. Thank God we're on turbo mode. Oh, re really? Really? There's two of you either corner? That's kind of spicy. Need to stop it, sir. Okay, good. These guys could sh should maybe just kind of die at the end of rooms. Or at least, like, attack you or something, just so they're not doing nothing when a room ends. The fuck? The fuck is this? I need ammo. I have to have ammo to kill things. Come on. Please. A single motherfucking ammo box. Come on, game. Fuck. You game! Oh my god! And then of course I open the fucking item chest rather than the gun chest. Ugh. I guess this is just a game of how long can I survive? Against a very difficult boss with just a pistol. With one and a half hearts. Fucking spicy as shit, right? Okay, that's one hit. Okay, did not expect that. Ah, there you go. Yeah, okay. That has to be the worst run I've ever had in Gungeon in terms of ammo. I, I got one... No, I got one red ammo box and one green ammo box in four floors. What the hell is that? That's dumb. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, at least we got to play with some new items. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.